All right guys, so I'm back from the gym, back from my workout, I'm showered, I'm dressed, but as I walk into this house by myself, I'm starting to realize this house is way too big for one person to live here. It is way too lonely for me to live in a house this big all by myself. I mean, bro, this house is 7,000 square feet. Like this is a big house for one person to live in. You know what I mean? It's just lonely over here by myself. This is a lot of space for just one person. I feel like this is a house for multiple people. Like you could fit a big family in this house and I'm just over here roaming around, just, it's way too much space. And then you got the freaking hallway too. Like bro, it's, it's too big, it's too big. I feel like this house was meant for multiple people to live in, like a family, maybe a big group of friends, maybe a YouTube group, I don't know. It's just a big house. I don't know what more to say. So, you know, as I'm walking around and looking at all the space, I'm thinking to myself, I need some roommates, bro. Why am I gonna torture myself and live in a house like this all by myself? I got the space for some roommates. Look at this. What up, D-Bug? You about to bring a championship to Phoenix this year? Yes, sir. Anyways, here's my room. This is my master bedroom, okay? I sleep over here. This is my bed. This is my room. I love it okay this room is perfect for me i have no complaints however like i said living in a house like this all by myself why i got the space for some roommates you feel me look at this right across from my master bedroom we got an extra room over here unoccupied oh look there's already a bed in here too for whoever wants to move in not to mention there's a mirror over here. If you're feeling a little freaky and you want to watch yourself get freaky with somebody else, then this is the room for you. Look no further, bro. You found it. You got it. Say less. This is a perfect room for a roommate. If somebody did want to move in, you get your own bathroom too. Look at this. You get your own bathroom. You get your own stand-up shower. You feel me? And not to mention, you're literally one, two, three, Steps from your boy, Brandon, AKA Brawadis. Come on, bro. Who wouldn't want this room? Oh wait, hold up, hold up. We don't only have room for one more roommate. Why stop at one roommate? Follow me right here, make a sharp right. Come on over here. We got another extra bedroom for roommate number two. Come on, bro. Yes, for all my OGs, this is Dennis's old room, but Dennis, my boy, you don't live here anymore. We're giving you a room away. I got room for two roommates to live with me. Oh, hold up. We're not done. No, sir. You thought two new roommates was enough? Hold up. Let me show you more. Oh, by the way, don't mind this. I was just filming a TikTok earlier and you know, this is what I use as a tripod. Um, anyways. You thought two roommates was enough? Hold up, hold up. Come join me down the hall, baby. We got room for more people to join the party. Look at this. Look at this. Who else is joining? Who else is joining? Don't worry about this this poker table. We could we could get this out the way, bro. We got another bedroom. And in this bedroom, again, you get your own bathroom, own toilet, your own shower. You get Halloween candy from last year's halloween so this is probably expired and poison you probably don't want to eat this ah fuck it never turn down some m ms wait hold up you guys thought that was it how about i tell you we got room for one more person to join this party check this out we got another bedroom ready to be occupied okay don't get me wrong this is my phoenix sun's room so if someone does move in here and takes this room, they're pretty much asking for a death wish. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably end their life and take them off the face of this earth. But that's beyond the point. We have another bedroom, you feel me? So look guys, pretty much my point is, right now I'm living in this house by myself, but this house is way too big for just one person to live in. Why? Why would I live here by myself? I got the extra space, I got the extra rooms. Let's go find some roommates, baby. All right, guys, so there's a lot of people on my mind when I think of potential roommates. When I think of who I want to live with, there's a lot of family members, a lot of friends that I would like to invite to move in here with me. But if there's one person I'd like to hop on the phone with first and ask to be my roommate, it's got to be my best friend, Ali. Somebody that I grew up with, somebody that I've known since we were little kids. So now that I finally grew up and was blessed enough to buy my own home, you guys all know the saying, if I eat, all my homies gotta eat too. So first person I wanna call is my childhood homie, Ali. Ali's gonna go crazy when he hears this news. He's not gonna believe it. He might set a world record for how fast he's gonna say yes. Ali might set a world record for how fast he's gonna pack his bags and move into this house, bro. He's gonna be, 
Dude, he might faint. He's gonna be all smiles when I tell him this news, bro. Let's give Ali a call, bro. Oh, this is gonna be such an emotional moment between two best friends. I just feel it. Yo, what up, bro? Yo, what up, Ali? What's going on? Yo, bro. Um, man, I can't stop smiling from what I'm about to tell you, bro. What? You know the saying, if I eat, all my homies gotta eat too? Yeah. Well, I've been blessed enough to be in a position where I was finally able to buy my own house. I got extra rooms, I got extra space, and the first person I wanted to call to invite to live here with me is you. What do you say me and you live together, we move in together, and we do this shit, bro? Uh, I'm honored, thank you, uh, but... No, thank you. Uh, I have uh, seen the way you act, you're pretty crazy, bro. During Suns games? You literally rip the couches, break TVs, punch the walls. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. No, thank you. No, bro, hold on, hold on. You you act like I, I only do that. Did he? No, I mean, I, I got to FaceTime him back. What is he talking about? I do not care about the Suns that much. I don't. No, hold on, Ollie. You said I go crazy and I break the TVs when the Suns lose. First of all, you're spreading false rumors about me. I don't do that. It is false. Second of all, that's when the Suns lose. Do you know this year we have Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and Brad Beal. We're not gonna lose. We're gonna win the championship. So it doesn't make sense that you're worried about that. You're really not gonna live with me because you're scared of how I act during the Suns games? You know what that means? That means if they actually end up losing again, you're gonna break more stuff and I don't <laughs> want to deal with it. So for that reason, I'm out, bro. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm sorry, bro. Peace. I'm I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> I, this guy's making me out to be some sort of maniac. You guys all know me. I don't care about the Suns that much. I'm not breaking the TVs like he's accusing me of doing. The Suns miss, in case you guys can't. Dude, guys, guys. Tie game. Less than one minute left. Nuggets ball. Please don't score. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. You idiot. You an idiot. You are an idiot. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 Brandon. Stop. Stop, dude. Stop. Stop, dude. Dude, stop. Three minutes left. You can't close out a game. No. 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 I'm not breaking the TVs like he's accusing me of doing. This guy's making me out to be some sort of toxic monster. Sports are sports. I don't, I don't care. The players, they care about the games. Devin Booker and Kevin Durant, they care when they lose. But me, I'm just a fan. Whether they win or lose, I don't care. It has nothing to do with my life. When have I ever shown that I've cared about whether the Phoenix Suns win or lose game? Get back on D! Get back on D! No! Why would you not give the ball to Devin Booker in that moment? Are you kidding me oh, oh no 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 way no way no it doesn't affect my life if they win or lose you guys all know me sports are just sports basketball is just basketball i don't get emotionally invested in the games i don't let that shit ruin my mood i don't let the phoenix suns take over my emotions i don't let the phoenix suns make me break tvs and punch walls and stuff come on bro i don't care about sports like that come on bro you guys know me i'm a very chill relaxed calm person when it comes to the suns bro oh my goodness Oh my goodness, wait, how did I not think of this? Ali, if you don't want to live with me, you don't want to be my roommate, <laughs> all right, bye, get out, go, go. I don't need you. I just thought of the perfect person that I would want to live with. Ali, when you find out who my next roommate is going to be, you're going to be so jealous, bro. Bro, bro, how did I not think of this person first before Ali? Ali, oh my gosh, when, when you find out who I'm about to call and who's going to be living with me in this house, you're gonna regret saying no to me, bro. I have the perfect person that I wanna live with. That person goes by the name Noah, AKA Simplistic, AKA Phase Rugs Cameraman. Come on, bro, I love
love that guy. We gotta get Noah to move in here. We gotta get Noah to be my roommate. Do you know how lit that content would be? Noah is the funniest person I know. I consider Noah a close friend to me. I would love to live in a house with Noah, bro. That guy's like family to me and my brother, bro. I love Noah. So let's give him a call. Bro, Wadis and Noah living in the same house? What? What's good, gang? What's good, bro? Yo, Noah, I had a quick question, bro. Why are you smiling like that? Because I just know what I'm about to tell you. Like, you're gonna... You're not gonna believe this, bro. Just, just... This is the best day of your life. This is the best news that... that you, bro, just all I'm gonna say, pack your stuff, pack your bags, and I'm offering you a room in my house. Me and you are gonna be roommates. Do you want to move in with me? What the hell? I think he was... Was he in a place with bad service? What the hell? I think it's... What the f***, bro? His phone line got cut. His, his service went out. His Wi-Fi shut off. That ruined the whole moment. He was just about to say yes. Did you see his face, guys? He was about to say yes and, and start packing his stuff. But the freaking... The service, the Wi-Fi, wherever he was, I think it, it got cut off. He was like in the middle of the mountains. That's what it looked like, right? Or like, that's what I saw. He was like in the middle of the mountains in the woods on a trail or something. There was no service. There was no Wi-Fi. So his phone line got cut off. But I swear he was about to say yes, Brandon, and pack his stuff. Well, oh, wait, I'll just call him back. I'll call him back. His phone line is not going to cut off two times in a row. Bro, Brandon and Noah together, that's wild. Hey, yo, I think your phone line cut off. I thought you were like in the mountains or something, but bro, me and you living together. What the hell? He hung up again. All right, guys. Well, I guess Noah's internet connection is just fucked. Um, his Wi-Fi is just bad. I don't know. Like I said, was it just me? Am I tripping or did it look like he was on a hike like in the middle of the mountains in the middle of nowhere? But I think Noah is down to move in with me, but I'll just like, I'll. I'll, I'll talk to him tomorrow when his internet connection gets better, bro. But we got extra rooms, bro. We got more rooms. We're not going to stop at just Brawadis and Noah. Oh my gosh. Hold up, bro. How could I forget? When thinking of potential people I want to live with in this house, when thinking of potential roommates, let's just say somebody used to live over here, recently had a little bit of an emergency, so he had to move all the way to Arizona. I don't think he's happy over there. He misses living over here with Brandon. So we're going to get that person back in this house. How could I forget? get the go Dennis bro why did I not think to call Dennis number one I love Dennis so much Dennis is literally my best friend no he's more than a best friend Dennis is like a brother to me and number two he's already lived here with me so we're already familiar with each other we already know we could live with each other we already know we could be roommates he already knows the ins and outs of this house bro Dennis should have been the first person I called oh my gosh Dennis is gonna be ecstatic to move back in here bro Dennis is gonna move back here so fast have you guys seen Tyreek Hill Run? That's how fast Dennis is gonna pack his bags and run over here to move back in with Brandon, aka Brawadis. I just know he's gonna say yes. Watch this, guys. We gotta get Dennis on the phone. What am I waiting for? I need to call Dennis right now. Oh my gosh, Brawadis and Dennis living together? Part two? Why not? What's good, Dennis? <laughs> bro, first and foremost, can I just say I love you and I miss you? I love you too, bro. I miss you more, man. Listen, man, I'm gonna just get straight to the point. I know you're over there in Arizona right now, you know, maybe you like it, maybe you like it, I don't know. But all I'm gonna say is I know when we lived together, we had a great time, we were great roommates, we had so much fun together. So let's just say, bro, I'm sick and tired of living by myself. I'm inviting you to come back here and move back in with me. I still have your room. No one's been in there, it's untouched. Your bed is still in there. Everything is still in there just how you left it. It's perfectly ready just for you to come back. Bro, do you think after leaving, I personally would want to come back and live with you? Like, I finally was able to get away from you and move to a whole nother state. You think I'm going to go backwards and come back to you? Well, I thought I didn't think you left because of me. I thought you, you made some excuse about family emergency or something. Excuse? I was trying to get away from you. Oh. And it worked. So why would I come back? Oh, shit. All right, bro. I'm just being honest, bro. All right, all right, peace. All right. Bro, what is going on? Did I do something to these people? Did I, did I like, did, did I, did, is something going on about my life that I don't know about? Like, like did I, did I, did I harm somebody and, and, and the whole world knows about it except for me? Like, what did I do to these people? Why is everyone turning me down? Do I stink? Do I smell bad? 
Nah, I smell like, I smell good. I smell good, bro, what the hell? I don't get it. Everyone's making me feel so unwanted. Ali, Noah, Dennis, is there something I did to you guys that I don't know about? Why is everybody being so mean to me? I consider those three people my boys, my homies, my friends. Why are they being so mean? Why are they being so rude to me? I don't get it. Oh, come on, bro. There's somebody that I, I, I haven't called yet that, that this girl should have been the first person I called. Why did I not think to call her, bro? Ali, Dennis, Noah, all you guys. I never wanted to live with you guys anyways. That was just a big prank. Me calling Ali, Noah, and Dennis, those three guys, that was just, it, it was just a big prank. It was a big joke. I didn't want to live with you guys anyways, fam. The real person I actually want to live with is my cousin, Jessica. You guys all know what they say. Family is forever. I have that tattooed on my body. Family is forever. Guess what? My tattoo doesn't say friends is forever. No, friends are, friends are fake. Ali, Noah, you guys are fake. You guys can get out of my life. If there's always people you could rely on, that's your own family, your own blood, aka my own cousin, Jessica. Jessica, you know, family, she's gonna be ecstatic to move into this house with me. Family is forever. Family always has your back. This is gonna be amazing. I'm about to give Jessica the best news of her life, and we're gonna have Brandon and Jessica living in the same house. Hello. Hi, Jess. Hi, Brandon. Okay, so I, I don't even know where to start. I know you probably were not expecting to get a phone call from me today saying what I'm about to say. It's 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 big news, it's huge news, it's, it's exciting news. All I'm gonna say is if you're standing up right now, take a seat, because you might faint. Stop, really, Brandon? Jessica, whatever today is, October 12th, 13th, whatever it is, mark your calendar as today being the new best day of your life. Okay. After you get this news, okay, listen, I'm, I'm just, I'm just say it straight up, Jessica. You're my favorite cousin. I love you, okay? I have extra rooms in my house. I don't want to live here by myself. I want you to move in with me, and, and we can be the dynamic cousin duo, Brandon and Jessica. Yeah. You want me to live with you? Yes, sir. Wait, Brandon. You're my least favorite cousin, and the last thing I would do is live with you. I'm sorry, I love you, but... <laughs> what? Wait, what? Nah, obviously it's a prank, a joke. <laughs> my favorite cousin hates me? My favorite cousin does not want to move in with me? Hmm. Jessica said I'm her least favorite cousin? No. Me and Jessica love each other. We've been best friends since we were little kids, bro. Me and Jessica go way back. Jessica said I'm her least favorite cousin? Hey Siri, when is opposite day? Okay guys, so this part of the video is obviously not going as planned. It's not going how I thought it would go. I thought everybody would love to move into this house with me. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I thought by the end of this video, I was gonna have like five new roommates. I thought every single room in this house was gonna be filled. I thought I had real friends, but I guess people just don't have love for me. Oh my God, bro. You know what? Forget everybody else. To everybody I FaceTimed in this video, mm, take that, take that. You know why? Cause nobody loves you the way your parents do. Everybody out there in this world shows me fake love, but if there's two people on this earth that I know truly love me, it's mom and dad. So, Ali, Noah, Dennis, Jessica, I didn't even want to live with you guys anyways. I just wanted more content to make my video longer so I could put more ads and shit. I, I really did not even want to live with you guys. I don't like you guys. I don't like you guys. There was only two people I truly wanted to live in this house with me. That was my mom and my dad. So to everybody else, I FaceTimed, mm, take that. Now it's time to call mom and pops and get them to be my new roommates, bro. I can't wait to tell them, bro. They're gonna be so excited and, and, ah! Hi. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Why are you FaceTiming us? I have some news for you guys that, I mean, I could already see you guys are smiling a little bit, but when I tell you this news, your smile is gonna, it's never gonna be wiped off your guys' face. You're gonna have a permanent smile for the rest of your life. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, so you guys know I bought this house. I'm living here by myself. 
Why would I do that when I have two amazing, beautiful parents that I would like to be roommates with? I'm inviting mom and dad, I'm inviting you guys both to come into this house and live here with me. What? Dude, you're pushing 30. No. Brandon, listen, <laughs> look at me. You're too, too old to live with your parents. Go learn how to live by yourself. Bye. Uh, uh, Bye. Bye. That hurt. That hurt. Dude. Dad, I'm pushing 30? You're f pushing 60, fam. I didn't want to get disrespectful. I didn't want to. But you're, you're saying I'm pushing 30 like that's a bad thing? Pops, you're pushing 60. How about that? And mom, you, you're telling me to learn how to live by myself? How about you learn to live without Papa Rug? You live with somebody, but it's bad when I do it, you hypocrite mom. Mom, you're telling me to grow up? You don't even have a job, and you're like 50 years old. What the hell is going on, bro? I, I, honestly, guys, I think it's time to, to, to end today's video. I, I think it's time to close out today's video. Look, man, as much as I would love to continue this video and keep filming this vlog, <laughs> my parents insulting me like that, that's a sign to end today's video, bro. I can't, I can't even, to be here on camera and to be insulted and made fun of by my own mom and dad like that, I, I can't even be on camera no more. I can't, that's a sign, I gotta end today's video, bro. I, I can't even be on camera no more. Listen, man, please everybody do me a favor to, to help cure my freaking depression from nobody wanting to live with me in this house. All I ask from you guys is, Drop a like on this video. I don't know, man. I feel like the only thing that would make me feel better right now is if all you guys watching this video, go smash that like button. That's the only way your boy Brandon, AKA Barwadis, will overcome this heartbreak of everybody turning him down, bro. Oh, and also, to make me feel better, everybody watching this video right now, go comment down below if you guys would live with me. Comment down below if you guys would live with Brandon, AKA Barwadis. And also comment down below out of everybody I FaceTimed today, who do you guys think would have been the best roommate to live in this house? Other than that, it has been your boy, Brandon, AKA Barwadis. I'm fucking hurt, bro. That was harsh. Well, Booker, looks like it's just me and you here, buddy. Peace out, guys.